or a recent study just showed that women who carry a little extra weight tend to outlive the men who mention it. Hello, all you awesome people of the world. My name is Spotspit. Today, we're going to be talking about a Mac on a selfie stick because I know this is what you guys have been dreaming for. With the Mac selfie stick, this has become completely possible. Let's check out some of my favorite photos here. We have this one right here, and then we have another one in the city. My favorite one is this one right here that says, why? Because you're carrying a laptop around in Times Square. Why? And I know that this one is going to be a crowd favorite. So for my gun enthusiasts out there, we have a conceal and carry phone case that turns into a gun with just under a $400 price tag. For all my chess lovers out there that just don't get enough out of the board game anymore, this will help you bring it to life. So we have the full life scale chess set. And you guys can always pick up this chess set for around $500 on Amazon. If this is something you guys have to have. So in local news, there was an American girl whose Russian boyfriend, who happened to be very fit, was trying to tell her that it was okay that she was a little bit overweight. And he told her that it was alright because all Americans are expected to be overweight. This just in, somebody was mowing their backyard and they ran over a glass bottle and now their legs look like a disco ball. If those two weren't good enough for you, check out this one. The average cost of rehabilitating a seal after the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska was around $80,000. At the special ceremony, two of the most expensively saved animals were released back into the wild, and that's great. But what happens shortly after is a full-size killer whale ate them in front of everyone. I would have been hysterical. That would have drove me crazy. I hate seeing money burned. And to see something like that and to see the animals die, that would have been terrible. But it would have been so funny at the same time. For those of you guys who know about the hashtag hijack selfie, it spread across the internet after Egypt. Air passenger Ben Enns shared a photo posing alongside, I'm going to butcher this name, Saif al-Din Mustafa, who hijacked a Cairo-bound plane and had it diverted to Cyprus on Tuesday. He was lined with explosives, which were later revealed to be fake. Mustafa remains in custody and faces further interrogations, and police said investigators are also taking statements from the other passengers. And in North Carolina, a federal lawsuit was filed Monday against the North Carolina governor and other state officials over a new law that blocks transgender individuals from using public bathrooms that match their gender identity and stops cities from passing anti-discrimination ordinances to protect gay and transgender people. And I want to know how you guys feel about this because for me it's just kind of weird thinking about some guy being able to go into a woman's restroom and take advantage of her because he was allowed to go in there. And because it's legal now, nobody would think anything of it. It just seems a little bit, it just opens up the opportunity for a lot of negative things to happen from people going into the wrong bathroom. California Governor Jerry Brown announced a deal to raise the state minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2022. This wage boost is supposed to affect about 43% of the state's workforce. My two cents on that, guys, is just if you raise the price of minimum wage, it's going to raise the price of everything else. So raising this minimum wage is going to raise the prices of everything else. So we're going to have to see if that actually has an effect. If the price of living will go up in ratio to this $15 an hour or whatever it ends up being in 2022. And then we have McDonald's and every other fast food restaurant trying to automate everything that goes on in there because they're not going to be able to afford to hire everybody at $15 an hour. So they're going to, it's cheaper to hire one fifty dollar an hour mechanic to take care of a whole restaurant that'll be self-automated and i feel like we're pushing the corporations towards this when we keep trying to raise a higher minimum wage and obviously yes it's good to have a minimum wage that everybody can feel comfortable with and i'd love to get to know your guys' perspective on that because for me i obviously am completely one-sided on it but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that so on May 13th, we have the newest iteration of Doom, which is a highly anticipated title that has been in the works for a very long time. People are very excited to see this game. And as you can tell from this little footage right here, it looks sort of like Halo. The graphics are beautiful, and it's going to have a lot of new things to the game, and it's going to bring back a lot of old-time fans, and it's going to bring in a lot of new fans as well. The next game up is a PS4 exclusive, Horizon Zero Dawn. Basically, this just looks like a bunch of people with bow and arrows hunting robotic dinosaurs, which looks pretty cool. It's supposedly an open concept world game, but the graphics are stunningly beautiful from what I can tell. It looks gorgeous. 
The release date is still unknown on this. Overwatch is another highly anticipated first person shooter that's looking very futuristic and it is scheduled for the 24th of April. Make sure that you guys go pick that up if you're interested at all in that. A lot of people have watched Star Wars and Star Trek and are a fan of both or are very one-sided. A lot of people enjoy the music as well. This is going to be the question of the week, guys. Do you guys think that Star Wars music is better or do you guys think that Star Trek's music is better? Let me know what you guys think. We do have the mystery link of the week as well that is related to this as well as everything else I will be putting in the description. And in other musical news, the Xbox One is getting background music like Siri Digital, Digital Assistant Cortana this summer so it will be able to play background music like the Xbox 360 already does and like the PS4 already does so good job Microsoft you're catching up this is gonna be my favorite part of this new series that I'm doing where I show you guys some new youtubers that I just found out about and I think that you guys should go support because they're awesome so the first one is Vicky Eisenstein she is a hilarious youtuber go check out her content I always laugh. If you guys enjoy watching horror games, check out Divide and Conquer. He plays a lot of horror games on his YouTube channel, and he does really well with that. I just found out about his channel, and I think that you guys should go check him out, too. For those of you guys who like vlogging, go check out Lauren Rose. She is fantastic. Everybody's links will be in the description. I highly recommend these guys. They're all fantastic. I subscribe to them myself. Don't forget to answer the question of the week in the comments down below. Is Star Wars music better than Star Trek music, or is Star Trek music better? Better than Star Wars music. Let me know what you think. Let me know why. And if you guys enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay awesome, YouTubers.